Yeah, you know, happy with the podium, but, you know, not happy enough to race. You know, I wish I could have raced with Stuart and Sealy. Looked like it was a good battle going up the front there, and I definitely would have liked to got in the mix. And um, the new bike's coming, the new 675 Triumph's coming, and um, hopefully before Knock Hill we'll be uh, right in the mix and we can start challenging for some wins. You know, it's it's so early on in its development stage and it's working really well already. And um, This weekend we didn't really have much to answer for, you know, like Stuart and Sealy had some good pace in the race. Maybe got stuck behind Glenn a little bit in the first race, but he had pace as well, but just wasn't couldn't really find a way past him. Um, so, uh, yeah, happy enough. Big thanks to the team. They're working day and night, you know, um, to try to get the new bike up there and get me there. So um, I'm feeling really confident on the chassis. You just need a little bit a little bit more punch out of the turns and we'll be there. So uh, they found some stuff on the dyno the other week, so uh, we'll put that into practice and see what that's like and hopefully by uh, Knock Hill we'll try to come spoil uh, Stewie's home round. But yeah, first and the second's a good weekend. Um, but, you know, disappointed to get beat at the end. I felt like I was running a good, uh, setting a good pace. And uh, when I did follow Alistair, it was, it was, uh, it was sort of comfortable to be fair. Um, and then he came through again. I ca sorry, I came through again to lead him to the last lap, and um, did the best I could. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't enough at the last corner. It was yesterday, but not today. Yeah, I learned a lot from yesterday's race. You know, in that last corner um, on Druids on the way out, there's a bit of a rise. And yesterday we got too much of a wheelie off it and I had to back off and lost all my drive and Stuart defended the inside, into the last corner a lot more yesterday so I tried yesterday around the outside, just dropped it in his nose but he let the brakes off, gave me a little nudge out of the way and took the win so today it was kind of different, I wanted to go you know, at the middle part, you know, I had to chase Stuart down and close a big gap, I'm sure the lap times were pretty good to get that gap down, once we got him then I sized him up and it was pretty much like yesterday I could see where he was quicker and where I was quicker. We made a move and then Stuart went straight back and it was ding-donging for a while. And then on the last lap, I, tr I thought of a few places during last night um, to, to try it, but he, it wasn't working. I thought, right, we're running out of time here. Made sure I didn't get as much of a wheelie um, out of Druids this time and just up the inside. And I couldn't squeeze any harder on that lever, you know, it was just back those two gears and squeeze. Made the, made the pass stick and drove the line, just make sure it was tucked in behind it. And good to get the win and good to break Stuart's winning streak. You know, when you start doing that, as I done in 2009 Superstock, you know, you get on a confidence roll and it's very hard to stop. So, you know, it's good now to get maximum points and just nip back into the championship lead.